Let's bring in House Minority Whip and Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. We can leave that live shot up there in Geneva because we're about to see the president walk up to the microphone. And Congressman, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, to what Mike Pompeo had to say earlier on all of this, talking about just the optics of this, what we're about to see. Uh, this is going to be President Biden standing there alone uh, giving this news conference after we saw President Putin deliver a solo news conference. Uh, the former Secretary of State said that this shows enormous weakness not to stand up together with Putin on that stage and talk to reporters. Uh, he said Putin showed up red, uh, loaded for mm. bear. The fact that you can't stand up six or eight feet from your adversary and tell the world what you talked about, he worries that this shows weakness. So set this up for us as we await the president uh, to take questions from reporters here. Yeah, Sandra, unfortunately, we've seen a lot of weakness from President Biden as it relates to Russia. I mean, you look, Day one, President Biden kills the Keystone Pipeline, kills thousands of American jobs, undermines our relationship with Canada, and then he turns around just a few weeks ago and he gives financial incentives to Russia so that Russia can build a pipeline to Germany. So he helps Russia create Russian jobs and Russian energy dominance with Germany, and he undermines America's energy dominance that we had under President Trump. Is he going to stand up to President Putin on the hacking that's been done from Russians? The disinformation, remember, was President Biden, who was vice president when Russia tried to interfere with our 2016 election. I didn't see President Biden stand up to him then. I hope he stands up to him now, but uh, it's a long time coming, and so far uh, he hasn't proven that he's willing to stand up to Russia. In fact, he's been helping Russia every step of the way. Uh, it's time that we get tough against all of our adversaries, not just Russia, China, Iran. Look what they're doing uh, with ha Hamas in, in Israel. Uh, th it's time for this president to stand Stand up to the bad actors around the world. What do you hope to hear from the president when he takes questions in a few moments? We, we, heard, we heard from Putin. Uh, we heard his side of the discussions. Mike Pompeo also saying just a moment ago he hopes that Biden provides some clarity on the red lines um, in, the, in this discussion with Putin. What do you want to hear? Well, I'd like to hear him confront for President Putin. Putin on what he, what Russia has done to interfere with many aspects of American life. You know, you saw the hacking of the pipelines. There's a lot of other ransomware attacks that we see. Uh, the disinformation that Russia is very actively engaged in. Putin himself was engaged in more disinformation today. Uh, it was really bizarre when when earlier today President Biden was asked if he trusted. Putin, and he said, yes, how could you trust a former KGB agent, uh, especially one who has shown a history just in the last few months of trying to undermine America? Uh, and again, what, what they've done uh, with, with cyber attacks, uh, with attacking our allies, uh, with undermining our energy security and Biden helping him do that. Uh, it's time for President Biden to, to stand up to the bad actors like Putin. Really interesting. As far as uh, what else we heard uh, from Putin, what came out of this meeting, he said he and Biden don't see eye to eye on many issues, but both sides show that they are willing to understand each other. Uh, as he did call these talks constructive, do you believe it's a good thing that these two world leaders are, are sitting down together uh, and that they did meet today? It's always good to have dialogue uh, between the United States and people around the world, whether they're allies or, or enemies or, or people that we're trying to address problems with. And there are a lot of problems that I hope President Biden has brought up to, uh, to Putin. And I hope he, frankly, uh, puts red lines out there to where Putin knows uh, there, there are places that he's got to go to resolve issues. And if he doesn't, there's going to be consequences. What are those consequences? You know, why did President Biden give him that gift on the Nord Stream pipeline? Uh, without at least addressing some of these other problems before he deals with something that hurts American energy security. What, a, what about that sort of deflection it, as it appeared from Putin that when it comes to these cyber hacks that it's not Russia, it's not his country. He said it's the United States, it's Latin America, pointed fingers elsewhere. That's classic Putin disinformation. And again, what is President Biden going to do to stand up to that? We know a lot of it's coming from Russia. And it's continued to come from Russia, the disinformation that comes from Russia. It's time for this president to stand up uh, to, to people like Putin. Uh, Steve Scalise from the great state of Louisiana. Sir, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Andrew.